Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this video, we're going to show you guys a couple of boxing combinations you can use for mixed martial arts, of course boxing, and our favorite Muay Thai. So here we go, a couple of combinations. Of course, if you've watched our channel, if you're following us, you've seen all the different singular punches and the mechanics. So if you haven't saw already, make sure to go back to this channel and go to the previous videos. We've done tons of videos on techniques for boxing and Muay Thai, as well as mixed martial arts. But let's chain a couple of combos together. There's a multitude, it's endless, of how you can chain things together. But using the punches, especially the basic ones, such as the jab, the cross, the hook, and the uppercuts, we could start chaining combinations. And we're going to show you two, threes, and four counts just now, okay? So now let's start with the one, two. That's the basic combination you should always have in your arsenal. This is a classic jab cross. And then we could chain it with jab cross hook. And then we can go jab cross hook cross. We've seen this already. We've covered this a lot. Now, we can also go a three count with jab cross lead uppercut. This is another of my favorite combination. And then we could add that cross to make it a four count. Then we could start putting things together with the body shot. So jab cross coming back to the liver. That's the left body hook, okay? So pam pam pam. okay? Now chain it. That's it. And then we can come back upstairs. After that body shot, a lot of times the reaction is going to be this. I cover and then I block the body shot and that leaves the opening to the chin or the temple for the left hook. Other times it might be I block the one, two, you hit me here, then the reaction comes after the hit, but it still opens up the head, right? So we go downstairs to open the door upstairs. Okay, so now it's going to look like this. All right, and then of course he wants to finish with that knockout blow, which is the right straight, and that's what we're going to do just now, okay? Beautiful. One more time. One, two, body, head, and knockout is at the end, okay? So we start chaining these types of combinations. Now, another type of chaining combinations I like to use a lot with Alex is leading with the left hook, okay? So now we're going to start with the left hook, finish with the cross, and then combine this with the lead uppercut and cross, right? So if we chain it together, one more time, and one more. And then we could do the opposite of this. Start with the lead uppercut. <laughs> All right. And now chain it together. See, we finish with the left hook. So left uppercut, right cross, left hook, right cross, or left hook, right cross, left uppercut, right hand. So we could start playing around with this, and you guys could take a look at a sneak peek of how I train the focus mitts with Alex. Body. Again. One more. Again. One more. All right. We're gonna go with the hook. Again. Uppercut first. Again. Again. Jump. Up. Two. Uppercut. Small segment of how we use these types of combinations, mixing it up, making a good round. So usually we train for rounds. We might do two, three, sometimes up to six rounds at a time, repeating this to work on conditioning as well. All right, guys, there you have it. Different types of combinations. Of course, there's so many different types of combinations you can do, but here are a selected few you can start using today on the focus pads. We hope you enjoyed this type of content. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. Until next time. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.